Hey guys, welcome back. So I had some issues with my audio on this one, so I'm having to do a voiceover. What I have here is a sphere mold, half of it at any rate, and uh, I don't really remember where I got these from, but they're, you know, sphere molds, about two and a half inches, or about, you know, six and a half, uh, six and a half centimeters. What we're going to be doing here is trying again with the marshmallow effect and see if we can get that to work. So I have about an ounce of my Fooey Tim one to one that I have mixed up and uh, have been letting sit. So we're going to pour most of that in most of it because we want to split it up into different colors of course so we can get our little marshmallows a little bit more so i decided that what i'm going to do is i am going to use uh, some of my uh, more highly pigmented colors to see if I can get a better color result with it. So I'm splitting it up into these little containers, two of those just little plastic silicone ramekins. And there's not much in each of them. And the third color I'm just gonna use the cup for because, um, you know, why dirty something else up? So you see my Let's Resin, Resin Dyes. And I decided that uh, the two colors that I'm going to use other than white are going to be uh, purple, as you can see right there. And then I actually decided to use the green here a little bit. Three. I'm just shaking up the colors, making sure that they're good and uh, get mixed up because they've been sitting there for a while. I don't use these very often and I should. Uh, uh, I forgot to uh, poke a hole in the purple, obviously, because I've tried to uh, squirt it in there twice and it's not working. So just grab a thumbtack and poke the hole in there. Got a high-tech mess mitigation device off to the side because if you don't cover it up with the little doodah, when you pull the pin out, you have a risk of uh, squirting pigment all over the place. And I don't feel like cleaning it up and I don't feel like being purple. So we're going to add one, two drops of purple. And going in with a white, one, two drops of white. It doesn't look green to me when it hits the resin. So I'm going to fix it. I'm going to make it more green. And I'm going to use some lemon yellow. We'll see it in a sec. Here it is. Hello, lemon yellow. All right, so our resin has been sitting about half an hour and that has given it a lot of time to kind of thicken up and degas and everything. So I'm just gonna start adding my blobs.
right and as you can see i went color and then i covered them with white and then i covered them again with the same color so it would uh do that marshmallowy puffy bloomy looking look at this which is awesome Gonna let that cure and we'll see you for the day mold. All right, time to demold. You can see that I went over it with a thin coat of uh, black UV resin, but I forgot to hit record. So now we're gonna demold it. See what we got. See if these marshmallows decided to be. Awesome or poof. And they're awesome. This is what I was looking for is that puffy uh, looking design. And you can see that it is very shiny. And you can see my monitor in the background. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but this is the effect that I was looking for is that puffy, marshmallowy looking uh, effect that. Uh, I have seen in other people's projects, and I just think it's, uh, it's very, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's a cool effect for me, and I'm glad that I finally figured it out to uh, be able to do it quasi-correctly. The black really brings out the colors, uh, the white really makes the colors pop, and uh, yeah, I think it looks really cool. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is it a cool effect? Is it weird? Is it just sort of strange? You can see me trying to block the light. <laughs> Look at the sides. That looks really cool. Very cool effect on the side. I dig it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to uh, see you guys again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.